नमस्कार वेलकम टू दि अफिशियल यूट्यूब चेनेल अफ बरथापुर आई एस एकडेमी लेटेस्ट डिसकस दि मोस्ट इम्पर्टेन्ट कारेन्ट एफेयर्स फ्रम फोर्थ अफ एप्रिल टुवेंटी टुवेंटी थ्री माइ नेम इज अंतरा भूं लेटेस्ट बिगिन उथथ द हिंदू निज पेपर यू एट स्नेपशट है द हिंदू निज पेपर और फ्रंट कवर पेजर और आम आरम्भ प्रथम एडिटरियल फोर्थ अफ एप्रिल टुवेंटी टुवेंटी थ्री So this editorial is regarding lives at stake. And first, let us understand in very basic and simple language. So, ki hoy sile? Yate Karnataka bhitorot cattle traders aru transporters hai. Zetia cattle to transport koriya sile. Tetia assistant drivers on char boyo hasle thirty nine years. He was attacked. By self-styled cow vigilantes. That means what? That means, say for example, if a person is trading in what? Trading in cow or transporting a cow from one place to another in his van or in his vehicle. In that case, what has happened? In that case, some self-styled people who are calling themselves as cow vigilantes. they have attacked this person and as a result of which the person was eventually killed tar mane ate guru loi goi asile aro tate he assistant driver jonok yate mane prohar kori kine mari pelua hoisile okay now see in what light are we supposed to see this kind of event aro amar questions aro answers ami ate kun tu light ot ami etu sam अमी यू पलिटिकल एंगल चाम ने कन्स्टिट्यूशनल एंगल चाम रिलीजियास एसपेक्ट चाम ने एग्जाम पॉइंट अफ भिरे चाम वि भेरि स्पेसिफिक दैट यू आर स्टाडिंग दिस फर योर एक्जामिनेशन एंड देट इज वाई यू उल सी दिस फ्रम एक्साम पॉइंट अफ भिउ नाउ आंडारस्टेण्ड दैट इम्प्लीमेन्टिंग केटल स्लटर लस टू फाइंड अ प्रि टेक्सट फर दिज एक्स उल नट वाइल नट ब्रिंगिंग दोज रेसपन्सिबल टू बुक केटल स्लटर जो केटल स्लटर तो आम रेगुलेट कर प्रश्न आते वाई डु वि वन्ट टू रेगुलेट द केटल स्लटर एट द फार्ष्ट प्लेस हाउ डु वि वन्ट टू रेगुलेट दि केटल स्लटर एंड हु इज दि अथरीटी टू रेगुलेट दि केटल स्लटर कने क्यों के सो वाई डु यू वन्ट टू रेगुलेट दिस दि आन्सार इज बिकज the article 48 of the constitution of india 48 ki hoy it is your directive principles of state policy which talks about ki ki dhorone dhorok je bilak agricultural activities ase tate cattles bilak laga hobo animal husbandry je bilak industry ase tate je bilak cattle hobo how can you bring about better breeds or you can say je to maintain the line of breeds in that case and how do you prohibit the slaughter of the milching animals say for example cow slaughter uh, calf slaughter so etu ami kene dhorone slaughter to rokhibo paru so is it constitutional to stop or start the regulation yes why because article 48 of the constitution so ha have a look at this jurisprudence on cattle slaughter the 2005 judgment by supreme court in particular which ban cattle slaughter based on an expensive interpretation of the directive principles of state policy that is article 48 then we have are for example option number 1 only 48 option number 248a option number 3451a option number 4 all of the above answer all of the above so read directly 48 hude then you should know what is there in article 48 of the constitution okay so now that is the thing so this we have understood so is it constitutional to have such kind of laws yes the state can implement such kind of laws and more than 20 states in india at present have such laws okay to some extent stopping the slaughter of the cows now the question is how do you implement this how do you stop this slaughtering of cattle you stop this by means of law who does it can a private individual in the name of being a cow vigilante or cow protector kill another person to stop this kind of slaughtering 
বি ইট লিগেল বি ইট ইলিগেল আমি পাস্ট দেখা পাইছো যে মানুষ মারি পেলাইছে খালি সাসপেকশনের বেস্ট যে ই কেটল ট্রেড করে আছে খালি সাসপেকশন হব পড়ে দুটা এনে দুশ্মন নিয়ে আছে কিনা আর এই সাসপেকশনের বেসিস মারি পেলাইছে সো দুশ্মনী থাকক না থাকক হোয়াট এভার ইট ইস এন্ড ইন্ডিভিজুয়াল ইস নট সাপোজ টু টেক দ্য ল ইন হিজ হেন্ডস সো দের আর প্রপার উইংস দ্য এক্সিকিউটিভ ইস দের দেন ইউ হ্যাভ দ্য জুডিশিয়ারি রাইট সো আমার লেজিসলেটিভ উইল মেক দ্য ল এন্ড দেন এক্সিকিউটিভ এন্ড দেন জুডিশিয়ারি উইং ইস দের সবে নিজের নিজের কাম করে যাব সো এন ইন্ডিভিজুয়াল পার্সন কেনট কি ময়ে সাসপেক্ট করিম ময়ে পিটিম ময়ে মারি পেলাম নো এটা রাজার দিন চলি নাই নয় we have a proper constitutional mechanism so yate uh, we have to have the laws first and then there is the executive body who will execute the laws and then you have the judiciary who will decide whether the suspension is correct or wrong whether the event is correct and wrong and then they will decide accordingly right so it is not enough only to condemn this kind of acts but yet there has to be more of judicial and legislation over the cow slaughter okay so this is important from gs paper 1 and gs paper 2 point of view and the important topics are your government policies and interventions and then indian constitution okay so what is cow vigilantism so the likhi bolo kya hoy then like on an average everybody knows but then what you will write you must have one definition for cow vigilantism and one definition for mob lynching so cow vigilantism or lynching in the name of cow protection pose a serious threat to the secular fabric of the nation killing of people just on suspicion of beef depicts the intolerance among the vigilantes say for example even if they are violating some law then there is the authority who will take care of this and second thing is number 2 is that as we have already discussed no individual can take the law in his hand and no individual can um, say for in the name of anything can kill another person aru eta from the other side of the picture if you see this then a uh, uh, a cow versus a human and moreover another human killing a human by taking the law in his hand okay so understanding this is the problem moreover if you will look into the data and statistics then most of the time it is seen that a particular community may be targeted or a particular uh, say for example uh, a group of people may use it as a tool to create some disturbances in the social fabric okay number 2 is your mob lynching mob lynching refer to targeted violence by a group of people and which includes offenses against the human body or property whether public or private and as we say that a mob does not have a face a mob does not have a face ahibo pitibo gusi jabo kune marise kar against of police ka mane yate enquiry hoba ba kar against of crime hoba kuno na jane kyo bhir aya bhir ne petai ki bhir chala gaya so mob is very dangerous because it is faceless ekhon muh nai it is faceless faceless they will just commit the crime and they they will disappear very dangerous the mob believes they are punishing the victim for some wrong doing that they have done but then who are you to decide whether something wrong is being done or not right so you are not supposed to decide you are not supposed to take law in the hands okay before we move further one thing uh, one thing you must know here that is about uh, our assam because we will connect the topics to assam as well please remember that sobot ke recently ahomot amar yate cattle preservation ki ba bill ase ne the answer is yes whenever you are writing these answers in apsc if something relevant to assam is already there please mention it so we can mention here that assam cattle preservation amendment act of assam cattle preservation act of 2021 so uh, it to news to asile kisu samay agot because you see ahomor pora hoi kine neighboring states bilakot jay and in states like neighboring states for example nagaland meghalaya 
Mizoram, Arunachal Pradesh, they do not have any law relating to cow slaughter. And if you have any questions, you can ask me to transport it. It was in the news because Meghalaya had acute crisis, acute beef crisis uh, because of the loss. Because in case of your Assam Cattle Preservation mm -hmm. Amendment Act 2021, the uh, uh, transport within the state also permissions are required and outside the state uh, also permissions are required more than 14 years um, uh, cow to do not allowed prohibition complete prohibition on slaughter of cow okay complete prohibition on slaughter of cow However, in case of bull, mui boli dia ho that is another thing. But uh, buffalo uh, slaughter is uh, say allowed and bullock slaughter, for example. However, terms and conditions apply. Can I say more than 14 years? How will I say? Kiba permanent deformity, injury, noare aro ito soli bo karna. Can I say? Hornor kiba ta thaki bolai bo only then. In that case, it uh, might be allowed. Okay. Then uh, sale of beef is for example news or to for example if there is temple premises then certain distance has to be maintained. So only in some permitted locations it is allowed. It is not otherwise allowed. Only in some permitted locations it is allowed. And so by chance any unauthorized vehicle or any guru loizwa ba cattle loizwa de hapai if it is uh, found. Or it can make a gompa, it to correct hoin wrong hoin, so there will be a trial period, right? So a trial period or a good thing was to seize kora hobo, or a catalog he took hard to have a hit to homo to but hard to have a zik hobo, a qua lua maintenance or ziman kinik horsa, a owner has to bear. Obviously, the government will not bear this, but again, that is also uh, debatable and that was also in the news. So a good thing, suspection at a hill, trial period kinik manuzone. The owner has to bear this. And then after that, uh, it took um, right asilna, wrong asilna. After the trial decision, it will be no. Okay. So uh, we have seen about this is how we are supposed to look into the topics of cow vigilantism from exam point of view. Now let us come to the next topic. This is from 4th of April, Sentinel uh, Assam. So, yate yata front page of the ahisile Mahavir Jayanti 2023. So, uh, Mahavir Jain. So, if you will remember, uh, then Zetiami history ancient India topic puru Buddhism and Jainism. Zetiami, please don't make the common mistake again. Mo comment kori zanabo comment box up. Who is the founder of Jainism? Founder kun hoi? Yate. 24 on Tirthankar as le total and the 24th Tirthankar Mahavir Jain. 24th Tirthankar. So, not the first. So, mention in the comment box who was the founder of uh, uh, Jainism and the first Tirthankar of Jainism. Okay. So, yate 4th of April is celebrated as the Mahavir Jayanti festival. Our central government office across India as a, as a uh, holiday also it is observed okay then there are uh, three very important principles of jainism that is the right knowledge knowledge to write hobo leba ajikali moi eta very simple example if the base is only wrong then everything goes wrong right right faith right bissa hobo leba aru right conduct right conduct right conduct is there in your ethics also so that is your conduct so as per the religion also there are these three three ratna of jainism okay so mahavir jain was born in 615 bc in a royal family into jeneke gautam buddha gote khini tyag kori disile deho Royal Palace or Royalty Eridisile. Similarly, Mahavir Jain also left everything behind. He left the royalty at the age of 30. He decided to renounce everything. Then, after 12 years of meditation, he achieved the Kevalya Gyan. Kevalya Gyan Yate achieved Kurisile. Right? And after that, he started propagating the Jainism. Okay? Zetiami Buddhism ko, Zetiami ki ko, Zet uh, Gautam Buddha, he had uh, gained the Nirvana 
and finally in the end mahapari nirvan we say no in case of jainism we say kevalya kya okay and it is observed on ebare apsc it hudisile na hoy je birth anniversary eto hokabdo ketia kore so if somebody will ask you mahavir jayanti is on the birth anniversary or on the death anniversary like similar mcq so remember birth anniversary of mahavira is celebrated okay as the maha as the mahavir jayanti let us proceed further to the next editorial this editorial is again from the hindu newspaper a to environment point of view pora bahut important hoy and uh, you can also remember it in terms of kyoto protocol or in terms of carbon emission which is highly in news so the heading is time to put a price on carbon emission first ekdom horol bhagat ami bujilam tar pichot ami ag parim okay time to put a price on carbon emission carbon emission it ya ki hoy for example uh, if uh, we are saying that use a certain thing less etu kom ke byabohar ami jodi bhara khara dhorok ami koiso je e light bilak manu na thakile bondho kori thobosan light bilak manu na thakile bondho kori thobosan kintu no kore kobar bahirot goise light to on thake light to on thake so eta separate meter box bohai kine jetia ekdom bill ahibo dhorile 1000 2000 taka mahor so tetia ki hoy jabo in that case nije nije light bilak bondho kori thoiswa hobo right so what happens if you put a price on something then people become conscious about it and people will try to regulate the use of it they will not try to waste it not try to overuse it and it will be regulated right similarly tax to ki kora hoy a tax for the higher earning group they will pay more tax lower earning group they will pay less tax or no tax so they try to bring out the equality in terms of who is consuming more who is consuming less electricity bill to enu kwa hoy june beshi eta limit or upor cross kore star unit or rate to e bari jabo eta higher rate lagibo for example ene one apply so 1.5 times lagi jabo two times lagi jabo tere ki ha manu eta limit or upor kharcha kora nije nije ate rokhi jay Hmm? so if you put a price on carbon emission then the entire world will try to bring down their cut down their carbon emissions okay so let us look into the details this article is written by this editorial is written by vinod thomas author of the book risk and resilience in the era of climate change now to understand this a high enough carbon tax can pave the way for decarbonization as a winning development formula india at the g20 chair can play a lead role in this at a g20 logot ko relate kori se karon ei bar to ami asu so as a result of which we can uh, start a conversation or we can bring up this as a topic that why not we all can go for the carbon taxation because if we will go for the if you will go for the carbon tax and in a in a say positive manner in a well decided manner that ki hoy jabo it will be very much helpful to regulate the carbon emissions okay karon jetia eta bostur price na thake when there is no price for the natural resources like air forest environment destruction tetia manu aru beshi air to pollution kori ase eta june beshi pollute kori ase tar upor jodi beshi ke carbon tak beshi ke carbon credits hi kinibo lagibo i will we will come to this in the next slide okay mane june etu beshi use kori ase hone beshi paisa dibo lagibo if you are consuming more forest more air doing more environment destruction you have to pay a higher price because if no price is there then everybody will run in the rat race and may harm the environment and already harming the environment in the long run okay now the question is how do you do this pricing theek hai jo bahut zyada carbon emission kar raha hai chalo us pe tax lagaye par lagaye kaise how kaise how kaise ye carbon taxation hum kar sakte hai so those countries who already have a system of carbon tax we can learn from them so there are three ways of pricing carbon which we will be discussing but again again we are on one hand trying to increase our export trying to compete with or you can say uh, trying to have uh, higher exports or a good number of export when our neighbor is china who are giving 
अ लॉट ऑफ कॉन्सेशन टू द मैन्युफैक्चरर्स कि ये डिस्काउंट ले लो लेकिन इतना प्रोडक्शन कर दो कि नेबरिंग कंट्रीज में हम लोग गुड्स डंप करके आ जाए आ, ऐसे जितना एक चेयर चाहिए तो दस चेयर प्रोड्यूस कर रहे एक अपना रखेंगे नौ बाकी देशों में डंप करेंगे सो इन सच एन इन इन सच सनेरियो वी हैव टू बैलेंस दिस कार्बन टैक्स का बात जो हम सोच रहे हैं एनवायरमेंट जो हम कर रहे हैं और साथ ही साथ एक्सपोर्ट सो वी हैव टू बैलेंस ऑल ऑफ दिस एंड प्रोबेबली दैट्स व्हाई वी आर ट्राइंग टू ब्रिंग इन सोलर एनर्जी वी आर फोकसिंग ऑन रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी राइट ऑन ऑन द ऑन द साइड लाइन्स हाउएवर बाकी यूएस हो गया चाइना हो गया ये लोग तो ऑलरेडी काफी डेवलपमेंट कर चुके हैं तो अभी हम ट्वेंटी तक ही कैसे कर दें सो दैट इज आई वी सेट की रुको रुको अभी हम लोग ट्वेंटी तक करेंगे ठीक है Now let us come to the ways of pricing. Three ways of pricing carbon are the establishment of carbon tax domestically. That means within the nation. Eto kune implement kori se Korea and Singapore. These nations have Singapore. Or recently, uh, again, Singapore was in news regarding this uh, changes and um, you, you know um, manifestation of the carbon tax domestically. तो यात्रे की हवा जुने बेसिक है विदिन डी नेशन डोमेस्टिकली नीजे ही होते टैक्सेशन तो लोग हवा और जुने बेसी कार्बन एमिशन कोडी बो ही होते बेसी टैक्स टी बोलेगा ठीक है सर the use of an emission trading system that is ETS as in the European Union and China यात्रे की हवा जोडी एट एक्स एट एक कंपनियाँ से वाई एट एक कंपनियाँ से और ए दुता कंपनियाँ से और ये होते क्या नम्बर अफ हाण्ड्रेड गुड्स प्रड्यूस ठीक है इतना टोटल एलटेड कार्बन क्रेडिट्स पुल थोड़ा टोटल एलटेड कार्बन क्रेडिट्स आज टेन कार्बन क्रेडिट्स ओके टेन कार्बन क्रेडिट्स नाउ इफ एक्स वन टू प्रड्यूस फिफ्टी गुड्स एंड वाई वन टू प्रड्यूस फिफ्टी गुड्स तेल इतने पाँच कार्बन क्रेडिट इतने कि लग पाँच कार्बन क्रेडिट इतने कि लग तक एक्से कह मैं पंचाशा नको मैं दसटाए कर कार्बन क्रेडिट हम हो जा वाई कैसे ना मैं तो ठीक है मैं तुम्हारा चल्लिशा और गुड्स मैं एक्सट्रा बनाई दीम और तुम जो चार कार्बन क्रेडिट बाकी आई चार मैं तुम्हारा कम सो तुमको आपस में जो करते रहना करो बट द नम्बर उल भी देर उल द ट्रेडिंग अफ अमिशन कौन कितना अमिशन करेगा उस हिसाब से उसको उतना ही परचेस करना पड़ेगा ओके एंड देर विल बी अ सर्टेन नंबर ऑफ अमिशन विच विल बी देर सो लाइक दिस देर आर डिफरेंट मॉडल्स देर इज द एप्लीकेशन ऑन एन इम्पोर्ट टेरिफ मॉडल दिस वॉज इन द न्यूज रिसेंटली ऑल्सो एंड इंडिया वॉज ऑल्सो इन द न्यूज रिगार्डिंग द सेम ओके सो सम फोर्टी सिक्स कंट्रीज प्राइस कार्बन ऑलरेडी ऑल्डो कवरिंग ओनलि फर्टी सिक्स कान्ट्रिये मैंने कने से बस्तुख कि कवर से कार्बन कार्बन क्रेडिट्स टू ओनलि फर्टी सिक्स कान्ट्रीज दे आर प्राइसिंग कार्बन कवरिंग ओनलि थार्टी पार्सेंट अफ ग्लोबल ग्रीन हाउस गेस एमिशन वाई वाई इट इज बींग सेट लाइक दिस बिकज डु यू नो मोर देन कार्बन कार्बन मैं एक टन कार्बने जी ग्लोबल वार्मिंग जिम्मेदी एमिशन से प्रब्लेम कर तक पचिश पार्सेंट बेसि मिथेने कर मिथेने तक बेसि कार्बन कार्बन एमिशन क्यों बेसि डेन्जरास कि है मिथेन एमिशन सो देट अल्सो आई हेव इनक्लूडेड इन द स्लाइड सो वी उल कम टू देट बिकज देट वज अल्सो इन द निज रिसेंटलि ओके सो कार्बन एमिशन टू कि है थार्टी पार्सेंट अफ द ग्लोबल ग्रीन हाउस गेस एमिशन इतना ग्रीन हाउस गेस एमिशन और कौन कौन आए व्टर वेपर आए मिथेन आए तार पिछतहे कार्बन डाइक्साइड आए एट एन एवरेज प्राइस अफ ओनलि रूपी सिक्स टन अ कार्बन इतना रूपी सिक्स टन सिक्स डलर सरी सिक्स डलर सिक्स डलर अ टन अफ कार्बन इतना बर्तमान कि एवरेज चार्ज कर सिक्स डलर पार टन इतना चार्ज कर बट इज दिस इनाफ रेकमेंडेड कि रेकमेंडेशन कने इंटरनेशनल मनीटरि फांड डज दिस रेकमेंडेशन एंड एकॉर्डिंग टू द इंटरनेशनल मनीटरि फांड व्हाट दे आर सेइंग व्हाट दे आर प्रपोजिंग शुड बी द प्राइस सेवेंटी फाइव डॉलर फॉर यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स फिफ्टी डॉलर फॉर चाइना एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव डॉलर फॉर इंडिया ये इतने सिंगापुर जी नतुन डोमेस्टिक टेक्सेशन आस ना ताते मोस्ट प्रबेबलि प्लीज चेक वान्स ताते मोस्ट प्रबेबलि ट्वेंटी फाइव डलारे सीते सजेस्ट कर सो एज अफ नाउ द एवरेज इज यर सिक्स डलार अ टन राइट और सजेस्ट कि लगे इंटरनेशनल मनीटरि फांडे कैसे जे यूएसर कारण कारण सियर दे आर द हायेस्ट कार्बन एमिटार्स यूएसए एंड चाइना सो दे उल पे 
so they will pay how much they will pay 75 dollar and 50 dollar and india will pay 25 dollar this is the uh, this is what they are saying that international monetary fund is saying it believes this could help achieve 25 percent reduction in global emission by 2030 a net zero belag belag country ko se kya ekdom zero emission korim kisumane 2030 target loi soli se kisumane uh, we are saying that we will achieve by 2017 because abhi dekho hum log largest population pe bhi lagbhag aa gaye aur uh, apan ko abhi exports bhi karna hai itna bada population we have to uh, uh, you know provide employment and all these things also no to bhuke pet na bhajan gopal hai na to that is why 23% uh, reduction in carbon emission by 2030 will be possible to achieve now uh, so what can we do? What are the scopes that India have? We can focus more on renewable energy. We have very good scope of solar energy. That is why primarily we are focusing on solar. Beyond this, we can also have wind energy. Okay. Now, uh, what is the impact on India among the prices? What are, what is our uh, perspective? Amar yate impact ki hoy. So among the three ways of pricing, India could fix a carbon tax appealing. Tumko isme se jo samaj mein aaya, wo laga sakte ho. Or otherwise, we can have our own system also. As it can directly discourage fossil fuels while raising revenues, which can be invested in cleaner sources of energy. Now, we all know that initial setup of the renewable energy sources like solar energy, wind energy, yet the initial setup cost to high hoy. Our ever log idea at our episode money running cost to come hoy. Gutika amiki kuri baru, A is a taxation logalu, fossil fuels or carbon tax logalu, yar prata revenue generate hobo, at a poisa generate hobo, A was to tami invent, invest kuri baru, cleaner sources to anibo carbon. Okay. It could replace the more inefficient scheme of petroleum taxes, petrol prices are always in news, which are not directly aimed at emissions. Now, one more thing, understand, if a company you generate generate, right? If an individual vehicle you generate generate, if a manufacturing hub you generate generate, if we are thinking of such kind of a tax, it should, the burden should not be on one sector. Burden sh should be shared by all these sectors in a pre-decided manner. It is a burden to share kori whatever taxes. Okay. So Saudi Arabia and Russia are at the low end of gasoline prices, including taxes and subsidies. India, this is already subsidized as well. China and India in the mid-range and Germany and France at the high end. So that is why electric vehicle use kori in most countries, including India, fiscal policy has set in place the basic structures needed to implement a carbon tax. example They can be woven into road fuel taxes, which are established in most places and extended to industry and agriculture. Already taxation system to include kori di And do you see the range? It is so uh, different for different countries. For example, in case of Japan, it is 2.65 dollar a ton. And in case of Denmark, just look at this figure. It is 165 dollar a ton. What is the suggested for India? For India, the suggested is 25 dollar a ton. For China, it is 50 dollar a ton. And for USA, it is 75 dollar a ton. Remember these three figures at least. Kya hai? 75 USA, 50 China, or 50 India. Okay. What is the main obstacle? Kyu nahi laga rahe apan itna? Reason kya hai? The argument is that abhi to mein aya hi hu. Industrial firms ko loss ho jayega. Kaise compete karenge exports mein? Right? So, it will be better with a lower carbon price as of now. And probably that is the reason why we are saying ki we will be net zero by 2017. Okay? Now, beyond this, proper communication is also important. A high enough carbon tax across China, USA, India, Russia, Japan alone because more than 60% of the globally emitted uh, effluence ye ini desho se aata hai. So that is why uh, these countries together are um, responsible 
for 60 percent of the uh, you can say plus minus global warming and uh, uh, problem so that is why we can start with the solution we have in the past already focused on solar energy and now we can give better models for carbon credit or carbon credit sharing right international sharing zikrata concept as a usa koise no hoy mo aru 10 ta industry banam thik ase tumi jiman khini carbon emit korisa hei khini tumi eta enekwa dekhok di dia who will use it for the environment you sell it to the because ye desh to responsible nahi hai so x desh ko ye bech to aur wo usko environment mein lagayega but in the past there has been a lot of uh, you can say um, mismanagement in this so that is why now this is not being suggested as the best option okay now there is a question from 2016 please try to answer this question the term intended nationally determined contributions is sometimes seen in the news in context of so this is in context of what pledges made by european countries to rehabilitate refugees from the war affected middle east plan on action outlined by the countries of the world to combat climate change is it for climate change capital contributed by members member countries in the establishment of asian infrastructure investment bank or plan of action outlined by the countries of the world regarding sustainable development goals so try to mention this answer what what will be the correct answer to this question in the comment box meanwhile if india if by 2070 also we want to achieve the zero emission we are saying no 2030 okay 2070 fine even if by 2070 we want to achieve the zero emission then what is the investment which is required india needs a massive 10.1 trillion dollar investment so how much is required for becoming net zero by 2070 very important figure are e black ebare mot rakhile hoy jay to data kyo kare to bahut hoj eto change no hoy aru bahut ke bosor etu ta soli thakibo hoy na so ek di bosor exam ot ahile etu likhiyo paribo so long term current affairs or mission hoy jay 2070 10.1 trillion ka apan ko zarurat hai 10.1 trillion dollars okay so the correct answer to this question is intended nationally determined contribution is plan of action outlined by the countries of the world to combat climate change now already regarding climate change there is another article published in the hindu newspaper today which is regarding some arctic scientists race to preserve ice memory ice memory ki hoy there also we have the point of carbon emissions once again okay eta ki hoy ami manokhini aje iman kini carbon emission kori aso this is already warming up the planet by 1.1 degree celsius since the 19th century and our goal is to at least stop at 1.5 1.5 degree celsius pe nahi hone se this is also long time current affairs maximum 2 pe to ruk hi jana hai okay now what happens the top layer of this ice it will it melts and it percolates aru tare pisot jitu ancient ice jo purana ice ase na hoy that also is affected as a result of which uh if this frozen uh, top layer will melt and it will go to the layer beneath this that is hini ancient um environmental conditions asile or how do we study about the past in that case because this chemicals will affect this ice cores no so we will not be able to study about them so that is why what the scientists are saying let us preserve it as a memory kaise karenge we will start drilling and we will take samples then those samples we will keep it in two parts one we will use now and another for analyzing uh, in the future we will save it for the future so italian french and norwegian researchers they have set up the camp in norway archipelago svalbard archipelago group of islands and at a temperature of approximately minus 25 degrees celsius they are trying to get this records so that they are able to study the past environment analysis of chemicals in deep ice cores provide scientists with valuable data about the past environmental conditions okay now about carbon emission in this same article again 
Carbon emission or carne ki hoise, 19th century priority alaga, 1.1 degree Celsius. Already the temperature has increased. Already the global warming has happened as a result of which these icebergs will melt. If the icebergs will melt, pani to zabokot, the sea level will rise. Arozodi sea level to rise hoise, that is, illa koro koro island da se, hebla ki hoise bo, hebla pani tolot humai zabo. Manu bila kot zabo. There is the problem of climate refugees. It is a refugee crisis to your government, climate refugees. Okay, so this is the problem. Another problem is, yare bhitar ziblak ancient layer of agar ziblak ice or layer as a hevilaku yare upper chemicals to sitia percolate hobo that will be destroyed. And that study will not be able to complete that study in the future. So that is why we are going to take the samples and some we will preserve for the future generation, other we will use okay it is a terms of related we have already seen that co2 se 25 percent zyada dangerous 30 percent zyada dangerous kon hai methane hai to isili we have the global methane pledge we have the global methane initiative so let us understand in very simple terms what is global methane initiative so the global methane initiative is an international public private partnership focused on reducing barriers to the recovery and use of methane as a valuable energy source jo bhi vadha vighna raste mein aa raha hai jiske wajah se aap methane ko as a valuable energy source nahi use kar pa rahe hain usko kam kijiye usko hataiye aur methane ko methane environment mein jayega kya hoga Global warming, so rather use methane to generate energy. Kaise kar sakte? Very simple example is biogas bana do. All, all these kettles, no? This kettle ka jo dung hota hai, that is, uh, then usme uh, the water and the dal dal that becomes, all those are also responsible for methane gas emissions. So much so that even rice paddy fields, they are also responsible for methane gas emissions, right? So better to use them for the um, key sectors on oil and gas, biogas and coal mines and better to use the methane for what? For energy generation. Next is what is Haridhara? Haridhara developed by the Indian Council of Agricultural Research. Okay. Baki ka nations, bahar ka nations, they are working on carbon emission, yes, but we are doing more. We are the Indian Council of Agricultural Research through comprehensive research over a decade is an anti-methanogenic feed supplement prepared from the natural phytosources. It is found very effective in reducing the enteric methane emission up to 17 to 20 percent when incorporated in the livestock feed. Cattle ko khane mein harit dhara dene ka and as a result of which Kya hoga? The methane emission will decrease. Okay. Now look at the next question which was asked in 2019 and please mention the answer in the comment box. My PPT to mention a kori disu because you are not participating in the comment box. So please participate in the comment box. Which of the following statements is are correct about the deposits of methane hydrate? Okay. Global warming might trigger the release of methane gas from these deposits. Methane hydrate deposits are global warming trigger. Large deposits of methane hydrate are found in Arctic tundra and under the sea floor. Methane in atmosphere oxidize to carbon dioxide after a decade or two. So which of the statement is correct and which is not correct? And you can attempt this question in the comment box. Now let us come to if you have missed this current affair, okay? Now, Vicom Satyagraha Sobote Puna Vese Gute Khan newspaper with the Havasami Ekdom, Hos Horal Bahati to Bujim, say Vicom Satyagraha Kihoi. So, uh, rest is already in the slide. We will uh, go through this also, but first understand in very simple language. See, once upon a time, there was the Vedic period, Ketir Prakatil Esle, 1500 BC, say like 1000 BC. In that case, caste was not based on birth, but it was based on work. Mane zarzi kaam hei sa pot caste nidharita hoi sile, varna system nidharita hoi sile. What we used to call is varna. Caste word is very recent. Caste word was introduced by whom? By the Portuguese. Aru Portuguese first Vasco da Gama varadat kiti hai sile, 1498 or hai sile. 
but anyways in the present sense if we come back to this vedic period of akal rigveda sila it was by by work not by birth but what happened in the post vedic period that is approximately the period of 1000 bc to 600 bc this became by birth this became rigid this became immovable jo jahan paida ho gaya wahi varna it became like this over a period of time there was the complexes which came up and there was the higher and the lower systems in the caste and then there was a time period when the people uh, of say a uh, so called that time ka higher caste will not allow the people of so called the lower caste of that time to enter the temple there were practices like untouchability which is now a sin a crime an inhuman okay article 17 of the constitution of india is abolition of untouchability so hey to homoy ki hoisile eta temple entry koribo nidiye mandira bitor khamabo nidiye so eta mandira bitor khamabo nidile ki hol eta manushine against ot ki korile protest korile people started protesting against this and there was a peaceful march so there was a temple in kerala in travancore eta shiva mandir asila tate khumabo dia nasila so manushine march kori gole aru many things happened in between for example mahatma gandhi said that if the so called uh, izavas or um, say the um, varna uh, of lower caste Uh, will only march then it will not look good the uh, suvarna or the higher uh, um, caste people also should march in this to say that okay we are also in support of this that everybody should enter the temple so uh, listening to this gandhi ji's uh, statement uh, what happened the people everybody they marched and then uh, ultimately the government also uh, repealed this however even in the end also the right side will be used by the suvarna such kind of uh, Uh, uh thing was maintained but uh, the entrance was allowed okay so why is it in news recently kerala chief minister pinarayi vijayan and tamil nadu chief minister mk stalin jointly inaugurated the centenary matlab 100 saal na celebration of the vaikom satyagraha because it was started on 30th of march 1924 and now march 30 2024 का जो 2023 से 2024 का जो रहेगा इसमें क्या रहेगा दिस विल बी द हंड्रेड ईयर सेलिब्रेशन सो दैट इज वाई दे जॉइंटली इनाग्रेटेड दिस नाउ इन केस ऑफ एग्जाम एम सी क्यू वी नीड टू रिमेंबर द पर्सनैलिटीज एसोसिएटेड विद द मूवमेंट ओके सो ए टू जी टू ए आई सी सी काकीनाडा मीटिंग होइसला नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी थ्री ताते एम माधवन एलोंग विथ Sardar Pannikar and K P Kesava Menon submitted a petition to the Travancore Legislative Council to grant the right to enter the temple and worship of gods for all sections of the society, irrespective of caste and creed and community. Today, the Article 14 is right to equality and equality before law, and 15 is no discrimination on the ground of race, religion, caste, sex, or place of birth. Okay. Next is your Kunjapai. Govind Panikkar and Bahulayan they led the procession and walk hand in hand towards the Shiva shrine in Travancore then outside the shrine a message was displayed that izavas and the lower caste are not allowed marginalized are not allowed to use the pavement or road then in 1924 TK Madhavan and KP Mesava Kesava Menon they were arrested however you must remember one name periyar e v ramaswami this name you must remember he joined the struggle and popularly known as the only satyagrahi who was arrested twice thus earning him the title vaikom virar a question may be asked in prelims who among the following is known as vaikom virar the fearless hero of vaikom or which of the statement is true regarding the vaikom because 100 year celebration no chances are there okay so vaikom virar periyar e v ramaswami already previous year question mate has been asked who among the following has is related with temple entry movement so remember periyar e v ramaswami okay vaikom satyagraha witnessed women's 
empowerment also as a large number of women also participated in this movement for the first time vaikom satyagraha is also known as the first anti caste movement in uh, with respect to the temple entry movement okay as a result of which in 1925 finally the government nullified this orders however um, as i told you know some uh, things were still maintained but they nullified the orders okay now let us come to the next this is your uh, this is not from the editorial section but this is also 4th april the hindu newspaper said the demand for scottish independence already in the past we have heard about brexit right britain ka exit and now scotland ne bola mere yahan pe to oil discover ho gaya ab main uk union mein nahi rehna chahunga main yahan se bahar niklunga aur apna oil se kamaunga uk ka loss mein se ab mere ko nahi aana <laughs> so in simple terms that is what it is okay that oil has been discovered in uh, the in scotland so if you have heard the speech acha one more thing rishi suna ke no na british prime minister indian origin scotland pakistan origin okay yusuf so uh, now the party in scotland the first minister they are they have appointed an independence minister also separately and uh, uh, the, what they are uh, pitching now is for uh, Sc scottish independence and already once the election has happened now they the referendum has happened now once more they are pitching for the same okay so just we will go through a quick overview of this number 1 the british prime minister rishi sunak rejected a call from the new first minister of scotland and leader of governing scottish national party hamza yusuf rishi sunak is from indian origin hamza yusuf is from pakistan origin to hold a second referendum for scotland's independence from the uk first referendum has already happened usme kuch legal issue tha bol ke that is um, now they want a second referendum in the 1970s after oil was discovered in the north sea the snp ran this campaign ki abhi apan ko jo hai uh, independence hi chahiye okay and what is the slogan it's scotland's oil it's scotland's oil the party argued that if not for britain's control over reserved metals proceeds from oil would have benefited the scottish economy par abhi to kya hai ki british control uh, uh, the entire uk is involved but then uh, uh, brexit happened and now scotland also want to exit a formal national referendum of independence in scotland was held in 2014 which saw an 85% turnout however amid concerns over how an independent scotland would actually function without british assistance pro independence voters lost to those who voted to stay kyunki abhi function kaise karenge hai na based on that so that is in news brexit tha to us pe question tha abhi scotland ka exit hai to us pe question ban sakta hai coming to the next heading is your net direct tax up by 17.6% you have to remember this figure directly so just let us go through this india's net direct tax collection have risen 17.6% in 2022-23 to touch agote ki asle 13 lakhs or usar bodre hoise na last it ami news heading paisilo now it is 16.61 lakh crore okay 16.61 lakh crore exceeding the revised estimate target for the year by 0.7% so what we had expected kitna apan ko rahega usse zyada hame yahan pe mila hai so that is why we are very uh, you know this is a good sign that the, about the economy now the contribution of the corporate tax collection is normally sirf wahi zyada rehta hai now you see the uh, it is only slightly more than the tax payer the contribution of corporate tax collections in the gross direct tax kitty was rupees 10.04 lakh crore just a tad higher than 9.61 lakh crore paid by tax payers as personal income tax and securities transaction tax 
acha personal income tax you all must be knowing what is this uh, securities um, transaction tax just understand it in very simple uh, language we you must have heard about trading no intraday trading uh, as a different types of trading so this is paid on securities so this is on like for example trading wagera mein सिक्योरिटीज के केस में जो भी ट्रांजेक्शन रहेगा उसमें इस टैक्स को पे करना होता है पर्सनल इनकम जो इनकम होएगा उसमें इनकम टैक्स ऑल ऑफ यू नो सो फ्रॉम पर्सनल इनकम टैक्स एंड सिक्योरिटीज ट्रांजेक्शन टैक्स द जनरेशन इज 9.61 पॉइंट सिक्स वन लैख करोड़ विच इज ओनली स्लाइटली बिलो दिस टेन पॉइंट जीरो फोर लैख करोड़ विच इज द कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन फ्रॉम कॉर्पोरेट टैक्स इन द ग्रॉस डायरेक्ट टैक्स सेगमेंट ओके सो दैट इज वाई दिस इज इन द न्यूज so now let us come to the uh, summary of this you can go through this next is about the china china plans to rename 11 places in arunachal already we have seen in yesterday's newspaper in the dokla issue now um, uh, india what bhutan said bhutan ne kya kaha bhutan ne bola ki uh, india china bhutan huh? so china to uh, that was they were uh, trying to gain parosi ka territory once again but then uh, putting in equal terms wo thoda apan ko bura laga hai na thoda kya zyada hi bura laga so that is there aise dheere dheere karke china china will try to expand is tarike se it is that is how it is uh, trying to expand ki टिबेट का भी था बोल बोल के यहाँ पे डिमांड करते रहो और उधर लद्दाख का भी था बोल के डिमांड करना शुरू कर दो ऐसे ऐसे तो पास्ट में जाके जहाँ पे जो था सब डिमांड करना स्टार्ट कर दो सो दैट इज द चाइनीज एग्रेशन ओके सो दे दिस इज इन द न्यूज ओके सो अगेन दिस इज द थर्ड टाइम चाइना हैज यूनिलेटरली renamed places in arunachal pradesh since 2017 april wahan se yahan tak ye teesra baar ho gaya and immediate response abhi tak isko leke nahi aaya hai some people are familiar about this and also there has been uh, rejections also ki nahi aisa kuch nahi hua hai aisa bhi sunne ko mila hai and the response is that okay the northeast is an integral and inseparable part of india but then what more kya aisa chinese uh, aggression is happening or is is the chinese trying to uh, occupy the land from arunachal pradesh to is pe or uh, we probably are looking for more clarity uh, and this will probably come in the next uh, few days okay now the next article is about the impact of monetary policy this is from the uh, another newspaper which we have collected the curious case of monetary policy and its impact on inequality understand policy yate duta eta ki ase monetary policy eta ase amar fiscal policy okay monetary policy to kune regulate kore rbi regulate kore fiscal policy to kune regulate kore government e regulate kore so rbi hopes that higher emi on an existing loan or a costlier new loan would dissuade enough people from borrowing money to fund future economic activity jodi emi bilak high hoy jay jodi interest rate bilak high hoy jay costlier new loan mane ki beshi interest ot jodi loan diya hoy jay in that case people will refrain from borrowing money right over the course of the next 4 days the monetary policy committee mpc of india central bank that is rbi will deliberate whether interest rates should be hiked further or not so they will decide on this that interest rate to aru borhabo lage aru borhabo ne no borhabo now what happens jodi interest rate to borhai diya jay tale manuhe home loan car loan ei sob bostu lua to borhabo ne komai dibo they will decrease this okay they will decrease the purchasing the buying will reduce as a result of which market to economy to ki hoy jabo pare all of slow hoy jabo pare right these are the tools to control the inflation and the opposite tools will help 
to control the deflation. The poisa to besi dami kori dia, tete manu hai kam ke poisa kini bo, manu hai kam ke poisa lo, manu hai bhala poisa to komi zabo inflation to akhmar kam hoy zabo. So that is how these are used as tools. Okay. So why do we need to raise the interest? The RBI has been doing this. Why to contain the inflation? Basically, reason to ki hoy inflation to kam kuri bo karne. That is the main reason. Okay. Let us understand a little bit in this particular slide. Uh, see, mehengai mehengai please ekoi se dami hoy gaye se sab bostu dam badi gaye se dam badi gaye se kya dam badi gaye se? Eta pen moise dosto kat kinim eta pen ase. Huh? For example, we have one pen or a limited number of resources. Okay? Kunba gaye se mar dosto kat kinim kunba gaye se mo a thousand kinim the dukani dosto besi mane a thousand besi a thousand besi bo. Sabore ta poisa ase. Uh, everybody has so much of money that the value of money has decreased. Right? Zitu was to be sitting at our value to Nizan is a comis and hoi. Bohut sober at a posa, posa value comis. Good to get posa to Yarpora, so the RBI com coridia, Utaitia posa to com coridia, but posa to besi dummy coridia. Can I get posa to dummy coridibo? Besi rate dot loan dibo. Sasta loan dile, sobe loan of posa to Utaiba, Ariataru, Bohut posa visible. Yet a Bohut posa hogole, posa value to Aru comisable. So as a result of which the Interest rate of the loan will be increased. The interest rate of the loan will be increased. Manu hai loan to come ke lava, manu hai hata poisa to come ke thagi inflation control. Okay, so this is the simplest example. Pros and cons do, do you thare as a e, inflation etu e to come to kori le, kintu etia to ki hoi zava etia to baki sab bostu to dami e hoi ase. Huh? So, the damu iman bahi goye se kene ke e to kine bo. E to hike to e to pora. That is a simple example. Higher level investment kori bo karne besi poisa na e tiya market of manu hai invest no kori bo. Go to again economy slow is our pare. So, these are the pros and cons. Now, coming to the next heading that is NASA's first moon crew in 50 years include one woman and three men. Okay, yate ki hudi ho pare zen NASA's zitu Orion capsule ase. So, first time in 50 years, the three Americans and one Canadian will be the first to fly NASA's Orion capsule, launching atop a space launch system rocket from Kennedy Space Center no earlier than late 2024. 2024 or hekor falei to launch hava atate Sarizon astronaut, Sarizon manoyate uribo. Okay, so who are they? Victor Glover, Jeremy Hansen, please remember Christina Koch, Reid Weissman. Okay, so they are going to fly in the Orient capsule. So, as in current affairs or session to Ami Imankini discuss Kurilu, please note that I have given you one question to practice and answer in the comment box. Please respond to that. If there is any kind of uh, improvements or suggestions or advice that you have regarding the current affairs please feel free to reach out to us you can also use the comment box for the same video to complete pdf to up now description box or pies above answer writing or participate kori bo karne amiz jwakali zitu question disilu hey question to answer hini up now look what have you heard? Are you question to answer to? Apna loke comment or mention kori ba pare. Tabe sir, is one is one or answer to upor or yatta apna loke nize checku kori ba pare. We will also respond to your comments. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone. Take care, stay blessed, and have a great day ahead. Bye bye.